y'all this is exactly why i bring my wipes and i wipe down <laughs> my van <laughs> tell me why i was looking over at one of my co-workers we're waiting to be called to line up and he literally he took his finger baby and he was all he was all up in that nostril all up in it he was in it then he started eating his food then he started touching on everything the steering wheel the mirrors the cell phone i mean everything didn't wipe his hand clean or nothing and y'all wonder why i'm always wiping shit down and wearing gloves half the time the thought of my finger touching somebody's booger i would die <laughs> i would die <laughs> girl Astrid back with another video and today's video will actually be about uh, problems you may run into while delivering one of the problems or issue would be your phone dying while you're out on your route and another one would be accidentally locking your keys in your van and what to do of course before i jump into anything make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel i really want you guys to see the ins and outs of everything that we go through and things that uh, we may experience while we're out on our route look y'all somebody got cigarette butts down here they just be having fun you, but I know you probably cross side. No, I gotta come and check the old man, baby. Hold tight. I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers. And we got adopted by some fit for strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. Me and you being on a first name basis. Why you think I hate it when you talk that Drake shit? It was so meant for me to make this video today because guess what? I just broke my charger. And this is a charger to my personal cell phone, my iPhone. And I'm pretty sure I got an extra charger in my bag. I'm a check. But it was so meant for me to make this video. What are the odds I broke my freaking charger? And I know somebody's like, what the hell are you going to do? Because I can't live without, I can't work without my personal phone. I need my iPhone. It's raining, you guys, so I had to put my rain hat on. Don't judge me. I cannot get my hair wet. I checked to see if I had an extra charger, and I do not. I thought I had one. I must have left it at home. It clearly says plastic bag, 1472. This is not a bag. It's not a plastic bag, it's a box. Have you guys seen this before? Okay, so here's tag 1428 or tag number. And I should be looking for an envelope. Gosh, I hope you guys can see this. 1422, envelope 1422. And this is 1428. This is the customer because it's the same address and name and everything. But have you guys ever had an issue like this before? I wanted to let you guys know that this is a perfect example of problems you may run into while delivering. I'm not gonna show you guys the customer's house because the address is like right there, but I wanted to let you guys know that their garage door is broken. And so they have it set up to where uh, the packages are supposed to go in the garage. And all we have to do is swipe on our phone and it opens the garage. Arrive at the destination on your left. So, like I said, the garage, it started to open and you can see like one side of it open and the other side it wasn't. So we had to, uh, we, I had to attempt a uh, regular delivery which is on their porch. And so when something like that happens, you're still gonna deliver the package but you're just gonna put it on their front porch. So just wanted to let you guys know that I'm sure I'm not the only person that has had an issue with the garage to where it didn't open and you had to put the package on the front porch. I got a rescue today around noon 
and the guy that rescued me I've never seen him before and of course he's never seen me because he works uh, Wednesday through Saturday and I work Sunday through Tuesday so he told me that he In was working feet turn left he was working today to pick up his hours because he's not getting his full 40 hours and um, kind of you know felt bad for him and so he said that he's doing rescues so he can make up his hours. Um, like I said, I'll, you know, always appreciate. Turn left. Always appreciate getting the help. Are you guys, are your hours being cut short? I mean, I don't work the full four days. I only work three days. And I'm very grateful with the position that I'm in that I don't have to work the four days. But at the same time, um, on the three days, if there's in extra... In 100 feet, arrive at the destination Sorry, and you're right. this thing keeps talking. On my three-day schedule, if they have extra drivers and somebody needs to take the day off, lately I have been taking the day off, and hopefully I'm helping another driver get their hours because uh, some of them, they really do need that full 40 and this particular guy, he was telling me even on his uh, scheduled work days, he doesn't get his full 10 hours. Um, he didn't explain why, like if he gets a rescue or if he just get done early, but he said he doesn't get his 10. And he was thinking about uh, switching over to UPS. Um, he did explain that, you know, it's kind of difficult to become a driver. It's a year long or couple year process, but he said he might start off at the warehouse so he can, um, get his hours and I, I totally understand you know people are out here living paycheck to paycheck um, there's no extra income you know some people have multiple sources of income and some don't and so you know people got to get out here and hustle and so I commend him you know for coming in I'm sure he didn't want to come in on a Tuesday but you know you got to make that money somehow you know like I said I appreciate everything he did and I do hope that he's able to get his hours back. Or, you know, if he decides to go to UPS, you know, I hope that, you know, he gets hired and he's able to make the income that he's needing. All right, listen up guys. It's always something new every morning. I just got my route sheet and today I have 14 bags, 29 overflow. 272 bags total and I'm not sure how many stops I have yet because I am currently logging in but I just got something taped to my route sheet there's um, a website we have to go on called knet.csod.com and basically we have to take a uh, not take a test we have to watch a video, and I guess, good morning. Hi, did Amy already give you the website for this? Okay, so let me give you the, oh, you got the link, awesome. Okay, <laughs> do you understand, I don't know why this has been confusing. This is your username here. Password. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, that was my boss, but, uh. Hold on, let me log. I need to log in here real quick. But yeah, anyway, we gotta watch this training video. I think it's just a few minutes. Um, I asked why to one of the other people and they said they don't know. So I want to know, do you guys have to do it? Does anybody have to go to this CSOD website and watch this training video? Or is this just something that, you know, Amazon woke up in the morning and decide they wanted their uh, drivers to do. So I am going to go to this website and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I have 178 stops today and this video, this short little video, basically is just saying, you know, to put your van in park, make sure to use the emergency brake, make sure to turn off your van, uh, when you pull over, um, when you're up a hill or something like that, turn your wheels to the right. It says to always lock your van, always take your keys with you. Um, use hazard lights if necessary. So for us to just randomly do this, 
at the beginning of our route like you know we need to be mentally getting prepared for our route and instead we were watching you know some video um which i know dsp is being told by amazon or being forced by amazon to do this but um i'm gonna assume that something happened somewhere to where they got us watching a training video on how to drive so somebody must have done something either somebody unstole somebody's van somebody's van rolled away it says never to try to jump in a rolling van something happened this is just my theory but um you know nobody's going to tell me why we have to really watch these videos so i have to just try to figure out myself what the hell happened to where we're being forced to do this oh anyway good morning guys it is tuesday my last working day and i was really tired like 10 minutes ago but all of a sudden I feel like some energy is coming so I'm about to knock this day out and get on with my life for the rest of the week so I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning as well and I still want to know if anybody else had to do watch this training video I would like to know somebody tell me so back to what I was saying yesterday so here's the deal guys things happen um especially with the phones you always need two phones with you i have the rabbit phone which is the work phone and i have my personal phone and the reason why i feel like you need both of them is because something may happen to this rabbit uh the battery or the phone may die even though there is a cord um sometimes these uh phones depending on which one it is they don't charge as well so you may need this as a backup you know because you can always log in your personal phone you can always log into amazon flex on your personal so you always need both phones um i do have a charger today and i got this one from home i'm gonna order a extra one or actually i think i got some extra ones at home i'm just gonna find them and bring them here you always need to have an extra charger just in case you break one like me and i actually tripped over my cord that's how it broke because i'm super clumsy i go through chargers a lot and i'm just gonna have to uh, find the ones i have at home or order some more two phones extra chargers so you know nothing else happens on your route you're able to deliver properly I do apologize that um, you guys can hear the hazard lights. I gotta keep them on, unfortunately. But um, another issue that you may run into would be uh, locking your keys inside of your van. I actually was a victim of that. And I say, I wanna call myself a victim, but it was my fault. I was at a gas station, which was like uh, seven minutes away from the station. And I got out, took the key out of the ignition and i put the keys uh, in the seat closed the door when i got out and it locked immediately i started freaking out i did have my cell phone in my hand my personal cell phone so i called dispatch and there actually is a spare key on the van i can't tell you guys where it's at because that's my little secret luckily people think ahead so no one had to uh, drive out to where i was at to give me an extra set of keys but just be cautious of that always always have your keys on your person even when you're getting out to get gas uh, fortunately, I don't have to get gas anymore, but this happened like months ago. I don't, it happened a long time ago and I never did it again after that. It was just a one time issue or it happened once. Just always have your keys on you because these doors do lock. I might not be able to talk to you guys as much today. Of course, I'm always going to continue to uh, bring more content to my page and I'm learning along the way. I do appreciate those who leave uh, comments in the comment section because you guys have other ways of doing things and I'm actually going to try to implement them, you know, in my daily routes as well. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. Oh, time for us to go. If you guys did find this video helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Of course, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos because y'all know I like to talk-ish about everything. 
and I will see you guys on the next video because my camera keeps going up and down. Bye. I fall for you every time I try to resist. Taking it away. Bum cheese, bitch, feels in the